Hi everyone, it's Shannon with Play With The World and of course I'm out playing with the world. I found this awesome nature park. This is right in my backyard here in Portland, Oregon. So let's get right into the message today because it's an important one. I feel that this one thing I'm gonna share with you today, one thing is actually going to help you get unstuck because here's the thing. This is one of the fastest ways that we can get what we want. But so many of us forget to do it or we don't realize that we're not doing it. And so that is actually asking for help. Are you asking for help? Let's back up and let's go back to thinking about a situation that's causing you a lot of stress in your life right now. What is that area of the most pain? Think about it and hold it, and I'm gonna take you through today. I have three easy steps on how you can make asking help really work for you and to your advantage. Because the reality is, when we really want stuff, or we want to lose weight, or we want to get a job that we love, or we wanna be in that relationship, but we're really in this area of feeling stuck. We have so much weight on us, or the job that we want is just not coming, or we feel alone all the time, and that relationship is just out of our reach. The reason why could be because you're not allowing yourself to ask for help. And when I say that, there's actually three steps to asking for help. So today, think about this as we go through the message. So hold that thing that is really in your heart that you want more than anything else, and we're gonna apply today's method to it. So the very first thing you want to do is define your desire. Because here's the thing, most of us spend more time on what we don't want than what we want. So before you can even get to asking for help, now I'll talk about that in a moment, but when I say asking for help, that's gonna be a pivotal moment for you. But if you don't really have a desire that's defined, Asking for help is not going to help you get the results you want. You might get sort of some help, you might get some wishy-washy answers. Now here, let's talk about asking for help for a moment. What I mean by this is asking the universe for help. Asking God, the angels, Buddha, whatever it is you believe in, ask your higher power for help. I also mean asking friends for help, asking a mentor for help, asking a teacher, or asking someone in your neighborhood for help if you're feeling stuck or you're feeling like you don't know how to possibly solve the situation. Now, I have so many stories of really asking for help. One particular is next week I'm flying out for my grandmother's funeral or her memorial, which is sad in itself, but I have a dog here, Tucker, and I'm trying to find the right home for him. I've just been gone for three months and my whole family is going to Virginia for the memorial and I want my dog to have a good home. And I've asked like seven people, all of my friends, who can watch him, who can watch him. And I realized that they were all saying no, by the way. And I decided to try this out and I went back to the drawing board and I decided to define my desire. And I said, I want Tucker to be in a beautiful place that he feels safe. I want him to be comfortable with the people he's staying with. And I want him to have fun and know that it's going to be okay. Because this dog, I adopted him. He has tendencies of feeling abandoned if I'm gone too long. And so those were important to me. So I defined my desire. And then I decided to ask for help again. And I opened up my resources. Instead of asking for just close friends and family, I opened it up. And in that experience, that was step number two. So step number two is to ask for help. Backing up, step number one, define your desire. You can write it down on paper. You can actually out it to the universe. The clearer you are about what you want, the faster you will get what you want. Now, two weeks had gone by and I'm still trying to find Tucker a good home. And it was really becoming stressful. I woke up one morning just with so much anxiety because I was like, oh my gosh, this isn't, he's, I don't wanna put him in a kennel. I just don't wanna do that because cages are not his thing. And so on that experience, I decided to return to this process and I really got clear about my desire and held that. So you wanna hold the desire in the feeling of what you truly want. And when you hold that, you move right into step number two, which is to ask for help and then you let go. So after I asked for help, I reached out to some more people and I let go of the outcome and I trusted and I said, the universe, you know, said a prayer, you said your guidance, I know that I will be done and you just let it be. And you can say that I know this is on its way to me. That's a mantra that works so beautifully. Say, I know it is on its way to me. 
And then the very third step in really asking for what you want and getting what you want is to allow yourself to receive. So sometimes when we ask for what we want, we get the answers, but they don't look like what we thought they did. And so then we dismiss it. You know what I'm talking about, because this happens to so many of us, whatever the goal is that you want. And so we have to be open to the messages coming back to us and the guidance and the support in a way that is going to be best for our highest good. And so Tucker found a home and he's actually with one of my best friends who has a baby who's two years old and uh, a little toddler really. And he loves Tucker, Tucker so much. So I know they're going to have the best time because he climbs all over Tucker. And you know, my friend really stepped up and said, yes, I can watch. And that was a really beautiful thing because Tucker knows this person. She's part of the family. And so it always works out in the end and you want to trust that. And so in the experience of really allowing yourself to ask for help, you have to let go of how the help will come to you. Because when you let go of the outcome, it can come to you in the way that is best for you. Try that out and really enjoy this process this week because asking for help is the fastest way that you can get to what you want. And remember that asking for help is not showing that you're weak. It's actually really an act of self-love and it's an act of saying, I trust the universe to give me what I need. So have fun really manifesting your desires this week and asking for help. Thanks guys, have fun playing with the world.